Hey, what's up, y'all? What up? Happy Monday. Um, I'm just going to touch base on this subject really, really quick. Sorry. My teeth just bother me sometimes. It felt weird. But anyway, um, I was disgusted all weekend about this bullshit-ass coronation um, with the royal family because it struck a huge nerve with me it was highly triggering and let's talk about it because i know a lot of people are scared to talk about it like i don't know about on youtube i know tiktok is kind of like they're definitely going in but man if that's not the biggest example of the narcissistic family horse shittery yeah, i just made up a word horse shittery that I've ever seen, like, I would never know what is, and nobody else would either, I would assume, because this is the bullshit I'm talking about. First off, Princess Diana, I was a beautiful-ass person. I mean, everybody's got their problems. I, I wouldn't doubt that she had some of her own, but no one can't say that she she is, like, she was, like, amazing, you know, she was really nice and morally sound and, like, beautiful inside and out, right? And what is this grotesque-ass, bullshit-ass Prince Charles bitch nigga do? He gets jealous of her because every time they go out, her light attracts everybody and his just, like, boring demeanor attracts nothing. So what do they do? What does he start doing? He starts cheating on her, right? I'm going to cheat on her with the same woman that my uh, brother, my ex-brother-in-law, or I guess that wouldn't be his ex-brother-in-law because his aunt, his aunt, Princess Anne, her, her, her ex-boyfriend was fucking the same lady named Camilla, right? Broke that, and Camilla married his aunt's um, boyfriend. And then when that shit went awry, then she divorced his aunt's boyfriend and starts fucking him while he's married to Diana. What a piece of shit, dude. Like, she's a narcissistic rag doll, bro. Like, that's that back burner ass supply that I tell you was always waiting in the actual the fuck ass wings. To just like try, I don't know what what their intentions really truly are. I guess the narc to them is a prize, which tells you a lot about what kind of individual they are. If you think the narcissist is a prize, something wrong with you, baby, baby, right? So I'm like, wow, babe. So finally, what do they do? Instead of him doing the right thing, out of his jealousy and him and that side piece, Camilla. Um, now I'm not going to blame Camilla for this one. I'm going to blame the queen for this one. So if you don't like that, then I mean, then you delusional as fuck, but it's true. Him and his mommy, like narcissists usually do go to their mother that doesn't give them enough attention. Cause trust me, that queen didn't give his ass a bunch of a fucking attention, right? He was always trying to get that old bitch's attention from when she was a young bitch to an old bitch. She didn't give a fuck about them kids. It's a narc. So what does he do? He's now a narc with a narc mother who helps him do his dirty ass work. And what was that? You think that queen didn't help him bump um, Princess Diana off? Yeah, they planned it. He sat down and went, mommy. And she's like, what, you piece of shit that I never really wanted? Mommy, I really need to get rid of her. I'm not getting enough attention. And then all of a sudden, there's this car accident. Oh, Right? There we go. There we go. And after this car accident, and she's dead randomly, and all of a sudden Camilla gets divorced. Okay. And who approves him marrying the side chick in 2005? That good old narc's mommy, Queen Elizabeth. Oh, she approved that shit, knowing full well what they had done to that poor girl. Right? But this is how deep it gets where the narcissist can't stand their mother no matter what. As soon as her old ass died, what did he do? Slid that side piece right into her chair. 
because he doesn't give a fuck and he wants to embarrass the entire kingdom, which he has successfully done. So now, Queen Side Piece, Queen Side Piece, no biscuit, you know? She's sitting on the junk wearing a crown that can't quite fit, can it? Because it doesn't fucking belong to her. It doesn't belong to her. It was never meant for her. But she's there, ain't she? That's how the narcissist does where you say, well, they went back and married that nasty bitch that was waiting in the wings for 30 years like my dad. Yeah, she waited 30 years to get that piece of trash. She waited for that turd to age 30 more years through all of his relationships that he really actually wanted but couldn't maintain. And then married his ass and she feels like she's wearing that crown that was never meant for her head. And guess what's funny about that, though? I'm just venting, y'all. You don't have to listen to this whole video if you don't want, but I'm venting because this is bullshit and triggering as fuck because it's like, what the fuck? Right? How was this allowed? Um, yeah, she's wearing a crown that doesn't fit her head because it wasn't made for her. And guess what? Even when the narcissist tries to kill you, they never even think for one moment, like what happened with Princess Diana. Even if you bump me off and succeed at killing me, people are still going to remember me, love the fuck out of me because I am me. My energy cannot be replaced. You cannot get a cheap knockoff, hashtag Camilla, right? You cannot get a cheap knockoff that, that looks like a burnt up, broke down, underwater, drowned ass, crapped, cracked out, dilapidated fucking version of what you think I even remotely could look like. Like, bitch, he got, man, I don't even know what to call it, dude. He went from a Krispy Kreme donut to a dog biscuit shaped like a donut that some dogs had already kind of tried to eat and didn't even like. He found it in the alley. That's that's what the narc tries to replace you with. And guess what? Just like with Princess Diana, the funny part is people still love her way. Like, love her. The love never died. It actually increased after they murdered her. So there is no winning for the narc and that backburn supply. They look like a fucking circus act because they are a circus act. If you think that narcissist that replaced you with this bullshit, really gross, horrific version of a pseudo knockoff to replace you with doesn't look like a sideshow to everyone around. You're sadly mistaken. They look dumb because they are dumb. They look trashy because they are trashy. They look like a circus act because they're two clowns, okay? All right? that's the clown horn because I don't have like a real one because I'm not a fucking clown but if I had one it would be like mur, mur, whatever so yeah that right there the narc hates his mom that's why he put a hoe a whole ass hoe bag in his mom's seat with a crown on he's like fuck you mom even though she helped him be deceitful this whole time she just didn't expect to die when she did right and that whole family that knew whole time they knew they all look stupid and who are they trying to make look like shit that um that who what do they call the narcs um like the sibling that they all shit on scapegoat that would be that red-haired prince right that they're trying to make oh he married a black girl so my and he couldn't stay and he could don't try to make it about him, bro. Y'all know that y'all all supported this bullshit and this hoe bag, y'all y'all fumbled every ball. Let this bitch actually grab a crown and be queen hoe bag. This is why you shouldn't fret, you guys, because God will let you see publicly these pieces of shit get humiliated. It'll just be public, bro. And this is very public. I 
guarantee you, and remember I told you this, within three years time, that whole empire is going to go down. Especially because of this. It's going to be so much fighting, so many grotesque things happening. But nah, man, they done let a hoe in the castle. Which I guess gives side pieces everywhere some hope that they're going to, if I just wait it out, I'll make everything, all my wishes will come true if I just wait it out. No, if you just wait it out, that narc will put you on display like he's doing. And you'll be the blame for everything that goes wrong. Which, this Camilla bitch, watch it happen. Anyway, this was sporadic, but I was so upset about this gross bullshit. Because that Camilla bitch, that side piece, you know what else it showed me? Wants your life. That side piece wants your life so the fuck bad that Camilla actually um, got approached by Princess Diana when she was alive. And Princess Diana was like, yo, I know what's going on with you and my husband. Why? And you know what her response was? Camilla was like, you are loved by every man in this country. And like every man wants you. And you have beautiful kids. And you're beautiful. What more do you want? And Diana was like, I want my husband. And Camilla was like, oh, well, you know, like, I'm just still not like, fuck him. That's how that went down. And she didn't stop until Diana was dead. And she got to marry Diana's husband. And guess what that means? She's stepmommy and to Diana's kids, even though they're grown. So you didn't stop until you got that woman's marriage, husband, and a crown that was really meant for her. That's the distorted grossness of the narcissist and the side piece. I don't support this shit. But anyway, love y'all. Just had a vent. I'll be back with another video about something, you know, pertaining just to us. But that I had to talk about. It disturbed me. It was disturbing as fuck. Love you. Bye.